In this training, we'll examine the setup of the high jump venue based on recommendations from the IAAF publication, The Referee. For more information, please see the IAAF publication, The Referee, or consult a USA Track and Field or IAAF certified official. Let's begin with a look at the landing pad and standards. The landing pad should be at least 5 meters in width, with a depth of at least 3 meters. It is recommended that the pad be 6 meters in width by 4 meters in depth with a minimum height of 70 centimeters or 0 0.70 meters. The standards that hold the crossbar must be a minimum of 4.0 meters but not more than 4.04 meters apart, measured to the inside of the standard. A white line to indicate the plane of the bar shall be placed on the ground to extend between the two standards and to extend 3.0 meters to the outside of each standard along the same line. The line is 50 millimeters in width. The standards should be placed no closer than 10 centimeters from the front edge of the landing pad. Note that the white line is placed with the nearer edge being along the vertical plane of the nearer edge of the crossbar closest to the direction of approach. In this view, we can see the top of the standard and the placement of the bar on the resting platform. The standard should be of sufficient height so that when the bar is at its maximum height, there's at least a 10 centimeter gap between the top of the crossbar and the top of the standard. The crossbar resting platform should be 6 centimeters in length, extending from the standard along the line of the plane of the bar. The resting platform must be 6 centimeters long by 4 centimeters wide. The crossbar, when resting on the platform, must be at least one centimeter away from the standard centered on the resting platform. The high jump crossbar is four meters in length, plus or minus 20 millimeters. It should have a diameter of between 29 and 31 millimeters. The end piece on each end of the crossbar should be between 150 and 200 millimeters in length and must be flat on the bottom side to rest on the standard platform. The bar end can be either round with an adapter that creates a flat end, or a half round type of end with the flat side on the bottom of the bar. The flat area that rests on the platform must be between 30 and 35 millimeters in width. If the end uses an adapter, it must be 30 millimeters high plus or minus 1 millimeter.